yet, you playing that girl, eh? That bird across the back taking an early shower or something. Crikey, you're a heck of a light sleeper. It's no flipping wonder. Like Cape Canaveral in here. I'm sorry, I tried not to wake you. <sighs> but do you know? We'll have you done for a peeping John. Aye. Us scientists have always been persecuted. Yeah. Not to mention the poor birds what shared digs with them. I've got to update me charts. Anyway, it's Saturday tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Typical that, innit? So-called scientists, they can't even tell the time. For your information, I understand, it's been Saturday for three hours. <laughs> technically, yeah. Oh, but... yeah, technically. It's one of your favourite words, that, innit? Like, technically this is your room and technically I'm just a squatter. I never said that. No, I know the next thing you'll be telling me, and oh, stars are like false teeth, they come out at night. Uh -huh. Well, let me tell you something for a change. I pay as much money for these digs as you do, and I'm entitled to sleep. And if you don't believe it, ask the man on the moon. Can I take it, Kev? You want me to pack it in? over the assault courses, that lad, you know, but I can't see it. They chucked him out at Paris, you know. Should have chucked him out of the aeroplane. I had him doing all much, but he hadn't got the bottle. Bit of close on the drill, soon sorts him out. Go on, keep going, get cracking, get them knees up. Bye, I can be a jury behind you with a bayonet. Ha <laughs> ha! Them duckwits are an ignorant lot. I just bumped into that flipping terror. No kidding. Well, I don't know whether he's dozy or just deaf. Hiya, dynamite, he says. I ask you, what a line of chat. So, what was your crushing rejoinder? Well, I bow down to I give him the big freeze. Cut him dead with a look. What are you fair babbling about? Oh, just some international incident. Yesterday, the Battle of Stalingrad. Today, the Cold War. That's all double dutch to me. She's referring to our feud with the duckwits. She thinks we should call a ceasefire. Oh, not at all. I think we should have sandbags at the front door and build the Berlin Wall outside the backyard there. Oh, why? Well, I think you've got some sarcasm for breakfast, seeing as you're so quick with it. Oh, no, seriously, Mum, I don't see the point in not talking to people, especially neighbours. It's a matter of having standards, of not being dragged down. Well, it's obvious you're not going to get paid for that dress. Look at all them alterations you did. It's gone beyond being paid. If she offered the brass, I wouldn't take it. OK, suit yourself. But as for guerrilla war, just count me out. Fair enough. But remember how we feel. And it's not just me, it's your dad and all, so no fraternising. What does that mean? It means no peeking at action man when he's in the yard, improving his physique. I've seen big enough, Sam Cotton. There with your binoculars, were you? I need a microscope. Hey, the good mum. He got trucked out of the Paris. I don't see how that knocks him. I should think any sane person would take that as a recommendation. I'm just nipping into town. If you want any shopping, have a... I to meet Michelle Robinson. Oh, I say, how frightfully spiffing. Do you know something, Arsu? One of these days, you're going to grow up and you're going to be so ashamed. <laughs> She's a lovely girl, Michelle Robinson. <laughs> What's tickling you, Giggler? Well, it's this tale I heard about the wonderful Michelle. She works at Briley's, you see, the chemist. And seemingly, this person came in and asked for toilet paper. Michelle says, all prim and proper. Oh, sorry, madam. You'll find toilet rolls on the bottom counter. <laughs> really? Do we know you're coming? I can't stop. I was just checking the van keys in, so I thought I'd pop across uh, instead of phoning from home. Well, you've got time to have a cup, haven't you? I'm going to make one any road. I'd love to, but I'm that pushed. I've got the minibus to pick up, plus I need petrol. Oh, yes, and I reckon you'd be wanting to have one of them team talks and all, won't you? Well, I'll do that on the drive to Runco. All I hope is they've brought the birth certificates. Birth certificates? Yeah, to prove they're over 13. I mean, last year, when we played in the quarterfinals, we got beaten by the same team. I think they call themselves St Paul's Youth Club. Some of them had bald heads. <laughs> yeah, Mum. Oh, hello, George. How are you? Not so dusty. Uh, look, I'll uh, pick you up in a minibus about half twelve, and then it's on tour to pick the team up, like. Oh, hold on a minute, George. Listen, 
Uh, I've got some oranges and things, you know, for half time. Great. Uh, but no bananas. Bananas definitely slow them down. Anyway, I'll uh, see you later. Try then. Try, Brian. See you, mate. They were thinking you might like to go shopping this after. Looks like you made other plans. Yeah, well, I've got this match I'm going to, you know, love. I mean, it's cup final day. I mean, I can't miss that, can I? We'll pop round tomorrow night, then, if that's OK. Yeah, of course it is. Look, you know I miss little Nicky, don't you, love? Hey, I'll tell you what. Why don't three of you have a run-up to run you know, support team-like? I've got them rosettes I'm giving away. You put that when we take them rattles and all. I mean, it's only kids, in it, on a playing field. Downstairs, done and dusted. As soon as Kev shows his face, I'll tackle that bedroom. I uh, thought I heard voices last night. Didn't have another argument, did you? Oh, we had uh, what you might call a discussion. We covered quite a bit of ground. The central issue was the value of my commitment to science and astronomy in particular. Let's see, you don't think Kevin perhaps feels a little out of things? Well, that had occurred to me, yeah. I mean, suppose I was sharing digs with Galileo. I'd feel a bit left out and sort of insignificant. I was wondering if we shouldn't try to involve him more with the routine we've developed. Now, that's an idea. I mean, you see, here we are, you doing the carpets, I'm busy with the silver, and there's poor Kevin, I suppose, wondering where he fits in. Well, maybe we could I mean, do you think if I sort of surrendered the silver? Morning. Oh, morning. What sort of slept in? Suppose we miss breakfast? Not at all. There's toast and marmalade, and I'll put some bacon under the grill. I'll oh, tackle that room, then. Uh, no, Norman. Creep. Now, I think we'll start a new Saturday system, shall we? From today, I'll do the upstairs, you do the downstairs, and after he's got his breakfast, perhaps Kevin might like to tackle the silver. Thank you. Thank you. You put it up to that. No, no. We've been manipulated. In the nicest possible way. The bacon. Hey, you haven't nothing nasty under the bed, have you? Oi, Brains, what about tonight? Why, have you got a plan? Me? It's you that's under the cosh. I thought you was working out an alibi or something. Oh, look, I can't talk now. If they catch me, that's me locked in my bedroom. It's, it's no problem. Old fella's got a pair of ladders. Listen, there's a loose brick just outside the gate here. So? So, I write a plan down and leave it for collection and perusal. You can read, I take it. I might nip round and see your Connie this afternoon, if she's doing now. Pop in. It won't just be a social call, like. I've got a new dress. You know, I could do with a nip here, a gusset there. Be our guest. I know Connie will be tickled pink. Quite honestly, she's a bit worried that people might think she's cack-handed, what we've very duckworth slagging her off. Oh, believe me, Harry, being slagged off by Vera Duckworth is by no means a unique experience. I mean, we're thinking of starting a club. Why, <laughs> <laughs> old Windows Day. Oh. Hey, uh, your missus still owes me £4.50, you know. I'll knock it off your dressmaking bill. No need to get shirty. Shirty? It beats me how some folk can be a flaming brass faced. Mr. They clean your windows, didn't they? They were shining like pearls. And my missus made your dress. Whoa, whoa, hang on. I don't wear dresses. I would, but our Vera always gets up first. <laughs> and takes the best wig and all, I reckon. <laughs> Morning. Sir, sir. You don't half meet me, not. I had to hold myself back there. There could have been blood all over the shop. I can see we're going to need some more insurance round here. Any more lip out of that, Charlie? I'll stamp on his fucking trombone. <laughs> 
Hey, hold up. I'm just closing for dinner. Pardon me, but your hours are till one. Well, it is one. In fact, it's a minute past. I'll make it a minute too, and this once went right through the desert campaign without losing a second. Well, it like they got some sand in it then. Anyway, I'm shutting. Shutting? You can't run a public service like this. You can't leave folks stood in streets. You're granted a licence on the understanding you're safe, folk. You can't just slam the door in my face and claim it's your dinner hour. What about my dinner? You can't leave me study here, famished. Hey, all right, then. Keep your head on. I should think so. I'll have a packet of chocolate macaroons, please. Hey, I won't mind the basin for this match. How am I fixed for a ticket? It's not a ticket, do, Vera. I can't think what's happened to George. He said he'd be here by half past. Well, if kick-off's not till three. I think we've got to pick team up first. <laughs> Why, well, I always knocked them down. <laughs> in bus, you duck, eh? Well, it's probably doing that first. Hey, but listen, if I did come and shout for you, I would get a lift, wouldn't I? Oh, I don't know. I don't think it's really your scene, Vera. Mm. I mean, there'll be nobody there, love, over 16. Not even referee. Oh. oh. What's that look for me? Hello? George! What's happened? Oh, no. I don't believe it. Hey, what's up? Stupid blooming minibus has only gone and conked out. Mm. Were well, there any chance of getting any alternative transport, love? So what happens then? What? They get cut? That St Paul's shower? What, without a flaming ball being kicked? <laughs> Uh, yeah, no problem. Oh, you saved my reputation, no danger. We not made the kick up. My reputation would have been mud from here to Wigan. We haven't set off yet, have we, George? Come on, get your foot down. Oh, I wouldn't have had the nerve to phone Baldwin, I must admit. Uh, yeah, well, you know, when you've got foot plus the emergency keys. Anyway, well, here we are, in the firm's van. <laughs> hey, I tell you what, put one of those uh, rosettes in the window. Would you? Look, George, never mind decorations. Let's get team first. Well, you're the boss. All right. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Yep. Thought you'd have it. Yeah, you'd have it. Now, Will. Ah, what'll it be, Captain? Uh, slimline tonic. Well, that's an idea, but right now I'll take with a half of bitter. Mind you, if you got that slimline. Bye, Eck, lad, you look famished. A state pie, Wilfred, on the house for my slim young friend here. No, thank you. I've not forgotten we got a bet on. If you could invent a slimline steak pie, you'd make a fortune, wouldn't you? You are determined to carry on, then, with this foolish wager. I am. You'll be a laughing stock, Kent. All the dieting and the jogging in the world cannot beat willpower, which I have masses of. Can't see much evidence of it, I must say. Because I have not yet begun to think thin. Well, I have. In fact, I'm not only thinking thin, I'm thinking silk A moment, Kenneth. Mr. Starkey, do we allow gentlemen to stand at this bar wearing corsets? Hang on a minute. Look, I left him this cryptic note and it's gone. So either he's got it or maybe his dad will turn up. Oh, and you will like your back teeth for me, won't you? Right. I'll remember you and me, Will. Bye. Hiya. Hmm. Can I clean the iron a sec there? I've just got to give these pleats a bit of a press. Yeah, I'll finish with it anyway. Oh, wait, there's a belt in there. Oh, yeah. You're back tonight, then? Yeah, it's a change, you know, from the A-level. I like your earrings. You are? God, my mum didn't see the check. Search me. I bought them this afternoon. I was trying them on in my room. I don't think she'd approve. Oh. Right, young lady, let the dog see the rabbit. Right, that's how I saw his bike fixed then. That was the 15th puncture this year. Oh, yeah? You did pop in then? Yes, I thought I would while Ken was having a snooze. You know what these fellas are like when they've had a skin full. <laughs> eh, Sue, no disappearing acts. I've got errands for you. Right. And before you start moaning, it's my turn. I've done all the ironing. I wasn't going to moan. I was going to whinge. Hey, can I have a lend your squash jacket tomorrow? Fancy bro. Mmm, I love one. Eh, you've got all this lot coming. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> you try not to worry, but you can't help it. By the way, we appreciated Ken having a word. I felt a bit cheeky asking him, really, but then I thought, well, word from a stranger, so to speak. Yeah, I mean, the closer you are, the less they'll listen. 
Anyway, she's pulled her socks up now and got stuck into her studies and she's given him next door the big E. So she's had her pass stamped for tonight, then? <laughs> oh, she's going out with Michelle. Lovely girl. Well, perhaps you know the family. Robinson's the name. No. Her father's in quite a big way of business. Does a lot for the church. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I dare swear Michelle sings in the choir. Mm. Oh, this is great, this, isn't it? Where are they? Don't panic. They'll be here. Oh, yeah. Famous last words. I mean, you might have decoded that message all wrong. So they're a few minutes late. Look at it this way. Where would you be now if you weren't here with me? You'd be in that old folks home that you call a digs. What are you about? I don't rely on blind dates for my social life. I don't have to get landed with your spare Moan, parts. moan, moan. Listen, I've been doing my own work on this Michelle Robson, and the word is she's a dog. All right. I'm getting here ache listening to you. You're like an old woman. Who says she's a dog anyway? Your bird's kid's sister. You've not gone blabbing to her, have you? She'll blow the old thing. You've done dead subtle like right, while we've stood in our Robert's shop. Hey, clock that. Look at that. Birds like that go and spare them. What do I pull? Netball flipping, Nelly. Listen, I think we'd better order something. Yeah. Oh, blame it. I don't believe it. Oh, come on, mate. Play the white man. She's not that bad. It's a river. She'll jump off the cliff, John. Hi. Hi. Michelle, they're over here. Don't tell me. It isn't Kevin Webster, is it? Is he all right? Uh, he gets these uh, headaches. Uh, yeah, I think you're going to have to excuse me. Me, Michelle. Mish, this is Terry, and that's Kevin. Hi, kid. Hi, Terry. Hi. Kevin? Well, uh, grab a few girls. Who was that other bird? Oh, that was Cheryl Barber. I haven't seen her in ages. And blow me if I don't meet her in the loop. Well, girls, what can we get you? <laughs> so what are you doing tonight, then? Not a lot. Oh, how are you fixed, then, eh? Quick twirl up to the palace, see if we can uh, win a spot one. You know, I'd love that when they've got these corns. That's oh. nature, love. There's no party yeah. for years. It's a supermarket now. Well, they have late night shopping, don't they? I believe they're all there with the trolleys having a ball. Anybody know how the match went? Oh, it's been called off, love, yeah. Minibus called. We are talking about United, aren't we? I mean, the local clubs are going bankrupt all the time. Excuse me, Ali, are you trying to pick up my bird? Oh, I definitely. Where's your teddy tonight? No idea, son. Keeps his uh, movements a bit of a mystery these days. I think it's all that SS training he had, you know. Hey, is it Eckers like? It's that blatant lass. She's mad mad, her, you know, raising us, eh? After he can't show his face without she makes a beeline. I don't think it's all that after she ever minded. Bet, please. Bet, please, Bet. Seven me, Bet. Have you seen Kevin? No, but I've seen his handiwork. I mean, a joke's OK, but uh, when you're messing about with delicate scientific instruments... Well, if you do, tell me what me Monday. I'm down for a council lesson. I've got a bloke from the housing department with come to see us. Oh, well, that's good news. Because if you're being assessed, that means so much moving. Hey, I'll tell you what. I'll burst in like I'm the landlord, demanding more rate, harassing you. I don't even bring a dog with me. <laughs> Where would you find a dog that won't bite you? Dogs know the friends, you know. Downstairs. <laughs> Found the answer, then, have you? To the riddle of existence? Or is there a tadpole in your ale? As a matter of fact, Bet, I was thinking about sin. That's a very big subject. It's an industry, and the people that run it have put me, Norman Watts, on their blacklist. Sin has closed its doors to me. Think yourself lucky, lad. Just think of the price. Think of the wages of sin. You mean you get paid and all? Bet, explain to this lad about the wages of sin. Index linked, you reckon, and well over the rate of inflation. Getting them coffees, aren't they? Do you want to know something? What? You're not getting coffees. Oh, we said coffees. Coffees is just an excuse. Where are they? I mean, we're here as alibis. We served our purpose, but they pushed off. Do you know something? What? I think you're right. Do you know something else? I thought they'd never take the hint. Well, that's Myrtle put to bed. How's the shiner? Sorry. All right, come on. Sit down here. Let's have a look at it. <sighs> mm. Need some magic ointment for that. Hey, did anybody uh, see you stash it down away? Ah, no one that matters. No Mickey takers, anyway. 
No. All still. This might hurt a bit. Uh, mind you, with our luck, it's a wonder Baldwin wasn't waiting for us. <laughs> bit of real Bob the Dazzler, isn't it? World class fiasco. You with the black eye. Team gets a cane. Yeah, well, they were animals, weren't they, George? They were out to win at any cost. They want excommunicating. Plus, they should be drummed out of the church. And did you see that trainer of theirs? Did you hear his language? He wanted locking up, he did. Go on, St. Paul's, get shot and get flogging. And then this great big brute of a lad comes steaming up, stretching our lads left, right and centre. And blow me if this old bagging wellies doesn't come up and claim that we are fouling her little boy. Little boy! Did you see him? He was built like Gorton Town Hall. He should have been playing for Borstal, he should have. Of course I said to him, didn't I? I said, oh, you big mouth. You should have been playing for Borstal. Not were it, wasn't it? Bang. They were always bad losers. They're even worse winners. Yeah, I'll put the kettle on. Yeah, and to top it all, they have to have a go at that flaming van. Right, we'll have to do a penance for that one. Still, Baldwin did say we could borrow it. No, he didn't, George. But you said you rang him. Well, he weren't in, were he? They were me with keys, so what did I say to myself? I said, what the eye doesn't see, the heart doesn't grieve. That don't seem to fit somehow any longer, does it? Anne's more on Monday at midday, and don't miss the Omnibus on Sunday afternoon at 3 o'clock. Well, next on Plus, it's Amadeo.